All right, how, how far did it move? We're studying Newton's laws, part of the eighth grade curriculum, and it's one of those things where it's difficult to grasp unless you're actually working with objects that are moving. Mr. Gibson is a great teacher, so he is able to make, thing, make the learning fun. So as you can see, like over here, we are having fun putting the, you put you put the marble in the slot and it goes and you see how far the milk can go so that's demonstrating the the Newton's laws. Well, they always love when anytime we're doing a lab, you know oh, you can no. see on camera them rolling around on the scooter or just playing what looks like air hockey and they're having a good time. This is an opportunity not many other schools get to do and it's really great having this in our, my own school and. The games are interesting and they help you learn as well. So the point of the activities is to see an object that's at rest change its motion into motion, to see an object that's in motion suddenly become at rest, and to observe the types of things that cause a change in motion. And what we're really getting at is, is the students need to learn to recognize when an unbalanced force becomes a part of the system. When it, when it becomes a part of the system, there's a change in motion. And I want that to, whenever they see a change in motion, I want it to trigger in their mind that something just happened. Uh, an unbalanced force just entered the equation. And that's how they learn to break down physics and, and start to see that happening. I love my classmates. They're all very nice. And we have a good time in the class, but we still manage to learn. This is designed to get them ready for physics in high school. And then, of course, that physics, hopefully AP physics. In my personal experience, I think that when you learn in the Montessori way, you get the hands-on experience and you learn more about the thing that you are learning about. At the end of the year, all the middle school travels to an overnight camp. We do uh, different kinds of activities, high ropes, low ropes activities, and all of those, of course, involve physics. So uh, we'll have a real world place to talk about the, what we've learned in the classroom today.